What's going on everybody? Astro Catacle here once again, and I'm going to bring up the resurging issue of the e-drama surrounding Brittany Venti, Jeremy from The Quartering, and a very little known, somewhat high value e-celeb to Elon Musk that everybody knows who this person is, um, but you know, Myself included, am refusing to talk about this person. Um, you know, I am very, very, very unknown on the internet. I'm very unknown on Twitter, but still, like, you, you don't <clears throat> want this type of person to catch wind of you, regardless of who you are, because I, I, evidently, whatever you say about this person can land you in Twitter jail. Whatever you post about this person, public information <clears throat> or public pictures, whatever the hell it is, is going to land you in trouble. <clears throat> and there is the potential for legally punitive damages to occur. So I am just saying no names. And I don't know how I could possibly get in trouble for something like this when I'm saying absolutely no names. I'm just associating with the people who have been removed from the platform. And keep in mind, this is what I heard. I don't know if it's true, but I heard that Fuentes is banned again. And this is due to, I believe, just the mass flagging system of Twitter. And that is the problem that I said in my last video in regards to this. It, this is the fact. The fact that you can report people is the problem. That is the problem. Because if you could do, do the same thing in real life... And you just say you just didn't fucking like somebody and then you just got everyone to call the police on that person if you could do that i mean figuratively you can but you don't have the convenience of like clicking a button now imagine like if there was a button that you could click and it would just on the internet it would alert the police it alert the notify the authorities it would show them where you fucking live uh what your phone number is where you fucking work and people could just massively do that do you know how many goddamn lives would be destroyed if you were doing that a lot and that's the problem with the system on twitter but i'm really strongly going to suspect that elon is not going to do anything about it because Elon is not this purveyor of free speech that everyone would like to believe like again like you just just look at the quick turnover people are having for him if you've watched any videos from the quartering lately you will see that he has almost completely and entirely abandoned Elon Musk he doesn't even really want to return to the platform he claims he's not going to delete the tweets and I say you know what <clears throat> there are people out there who are making you know an argument for deleting the tweet and being like listen just take the l and move on with it but i'm just saying no 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 jeremy is right this is the principle of things and even though it's over stupid e-drama and i mean very stupid e-drama it's the principle of things because if this can happen to them this can happen to anybody and just you know just the cherry on top is fuentes getting banned again he was back for maybe two days what did he do it's because he was massively flagged and this is the problem like i said last time this system it needs to be put in a, a, a process that is more heavily screened in a process that is just not there at the, the, the fingertips of every goddamn user i think in a sense it has to go through a process of appeals very much like you have to go through a process of appeals to get back onto the, the goddamn platform like this is the problem and people are getting flagged for extraordinarily stupid things now i have <clears throat> report it tweets myself and the only time i report tweets is when the algorithm fucks up and it starts showing me like all these pornographic images i never fucking asked for like it shows me some really weird fucking shit to be perfectly honest i'm not saying it's just like oh a set of boobs oh my god oh my god no it will show me some weird creepy far out there shit and it's showing up on my algorithm and it's claiming that the, the things i'm clicking on or <clears throat> the sorts of people i interact with who are basically just all like based people and, and sort of maybe like commentators who are a little more edgy like that's what i interact with and maybe like um, <clears throat> a few video game entertainment outlets things like that and it's just like showing me these weird fucking like these weird pictures that are being drawn by like grown men <clears throat> Like, I don't, want the, don't know what they call it. It's like these weird anime pictures. And it's like, I don't even want to go into detail, but it's just like really weird. And it's like, why is this shit showing up on my feed? I did not fucking ask for this. And that's when I report shit. 
I'm not reporting the person. I don't like the shit that, they sh that they're that they showing me. That's what I'm saying. It's like, why is it showing me this stuff? Your algorithm clearly does not know what the fuck it's doing if it keeps showing me this crap that I don't want to see. So that's just another example of how things at Twitter aren't working correctly and they haven't been working correctly. Um, <clears throat> whatever, you know, whatever Elon swept under the rug that was left over from Jack Dorsey has clearly, it's it's done some things for the, the, the platform itself, like, uh, the blue check mark system seems pretty pretty decent um i mean there's there's some things that he's done to like the sort of compatibility of twitter that i like but it's still for the most part it's still the same shit when it comes to like the, the the rules and the moderation and the way people can just exploit things and take advantage of them that is where i kind of fall off the wagon i've been saying this for a long time you cannot sit there and trust elon musk and think that he's going to be this big hero He's just doing it because he wants to be the same person who puts people on Mars. You know, it, it's, it's not because he cares about these things. It's because he wants that big dick fucking energy, just like everybody else. Hey, I'm going to tell you the honest to God truth. I want that big dick energy, too. If you're a guy, if you're a male and you have testosterone, yeah, you want that big dick energy. And I'm, I'm willing to say that a lot of people are going to part ways with the real morals and values to get that big dick energy. That's just the way it is. You're going to look past these things and you're going to make yourself seem like, you know, you're, you're, you're helping the old lady across the street because you care about her and you care about society when you're really doing it because there's like this hot blonde down the street and you want to impress her and make her think, oh, look at this big, warm hearted guy who's, you know, putting his shit down and helping this lady across the street, you know, just because he's that kind, caring individual, man, I want to fuck him. Like, that's what he's doing, <clears throat> you know, and at the same time, it's a big investment. He can make a lot of money off this. Um, he's already the richest man or was uh, one of the richest was the richest man on planet but there's trust me there's people out there that are richer than elon musk they're just not reported about the, the richest people we don't even know who the fuck they are they're, they're they're not in the news they're not in the media they might be the shadowy dark cloak and dagger figures <clears throat> behind the scenes pulling all the strings but honestly when it comes to this situation i understand why jeremy's saying no, I will not delete this tweet. <clears throat> it's because first and foremost, that is the principle of everything. And second, I think, you know, if, if she's threatening to she, did I say she? I'm not saying it's a woman. Hey, it could it could be a guy. It could be a trans person. It could be anyone. I don't know who this person is. It's just a name out there. You can look it up, research it yourself. But this person has said some things that may lead one to think that there is going to be legal action that to the to the fullest extent was this person's words i believe um and that's uh something you know if you delete those tweets that's not going to make you look good you know it, it, especially if if you're losing money over this and you want perhaps to be reimbursed which people are losing money over this the people who have been affected by this you know i i, I know that you know they are well off on their own i at least think jeremy is but still it's just the principle of the matter he did not as far as i'm concerned he did not break any tos and what he was doing was sticking up for britney and that's what makes me really goddamn sick about it is he was sticking up for someone and now he's off the platform because he decided to help a friend out someone who he said that he that he loved you know, it's just a fellow content creator and they kind of look out for each other. And I think that's what they need to do. But now it's getting to that point to where it's just like, you can't convince me that Elon Musk is the hero of our time anymore. You just can't. You can't because Jeremy has appealed to be let back on the platform. And I think... He said something among the lines like, yeah, let me back on for like a, a day or an hour or two. And then it just outright banned me again. So <clears throat> there's some sort of process going on there. And it, it's it's like it's officially like a permanent ban now. I don't know if that's the case for Venti. I think it is. But they have to delete the tweets. That is like that is the, the terms is that they have to delete the tweets. And I'm just like, are you are you for real? Are you are you, are you for real? Like, um, <clears throat> I can understand so, like, if you really want to get back onto the platform, I can see that. 
you know the, what you tweeted just really upsets this person just delete uh, but when it comes to this like hey listen i lost money over this sort of deal i mean i don't know i i really don't know that's that's a big if that's a big if what if i hold on to this tweet you know and i i think you know deleting it just sets up you know the can of worms for things like this to happen in the future you know and uh, here's some other things you know <clears throat> i use bitshoot a lot i primarily all my videos are on bitshoot and rumble and, and you know every time someone clicks a link to any of my videos from twitter twitter is still warning them that the content on this platform might be a little nasty or a little edgy or it might say things that you don't that are going to hurt your feelings like why is this still going on I, why is this still going on what, what is like what are we really doing here telling ourselves that this this is this is going to be for us that that, that this is this is you know it's open for discussion like he wanted he wanted you know not the wild west but he wanted more of a libertarian feel to the platform which we're clearly it's like no that is not it i'm sorry whichever way you put it that is not it you're still warning people about bit shoot videos when you still got weird pornography all over the website and you don't even bother to like put up like blurred images or anything like that do you know how many times i see pornographic shit and it's really weird fucking shit too on my feed and you put up no fucking disclaimers you put up nothing to block it out you don't put up anything to say this is sensitive content you know you don't do any of that but a link to a bit shoot page and a picture from someone in a youtube video is something you want to warn people about <laughs> give me a fucking break anyways i am master catacle that is all i have to say for now please like share and subscribe hashtag free britney venti hashtag free the quartering it's going on on twitter keep that moving don't let it stop i want it to go on for eternity for as long as they are banned but please yeah uh thank you once again and i will see you next time